point, I feel like you have to trust science down the road, but you don't, perhaps like what you're saying, is trust. Well, you don't have to trust well, the people that are life? telling you the results. Yeah. I, okay, well, I, then on that then, because here's the other thing is that my, my brother-in-law works for NASA, and so he's going to let me go and go through the whole facility and everything. I don't get to go into the alien NASA. room or whatever. He's but so that I can he, like he butts head with that. So that we can once and for all debunk this flat earth theory, but maybe we won't debunk it. I don't know, because this flat earth thing became super popular here in the last two years, right? Where people well, are really popular extremely smart. Years ago, it was huge. Well, yeah. <laughs> people, people are like extremely smart putting out all of this information to explain this flat earth. So where do you stand on it? Well, when I first heard about Flat Earth, it was probably like a year and a half ago on Joe Rogan's podcast. I, I was, we were talking about something, and then Joe Joe's, was trying to explain how dumb people are. And goes, dude, there's people <laughs> that still believe the Earth is flat and the sun is 3,000 miles away. And I remember, this is like a year and a half ago. I'm a grown ass. I was in my 40s. Balls deep in conspiracies <laughs> my whole life. And when I heard that, I thought, oh, like, what are they like? Just super religious people? I mean, like people people actually still believe the Earth is flat. That's this is just me, like a year and a half ago, and then uh, a few months later, I do the podcast again, and then Joe brings it up again. He goes, uh, "Flat Earth theory," and I thought, and I said, and so he asked me, I think, "What do you think of the flat Earth?" And I thought, and I know I said this on his podcast. I go, "It's got to be." some CIA psyop, kind of like Scientology. It's got to be like Scientology where they're just checking to see how stupid people are. And the Earth is flat? It's ridiculous. I'm like, I had an iPhone 4. I saw the picture of the Earth, that blue marble, on my goddamn iPhone, my smartphone. Every day, that was the default. I go, there's no way you're going to convince me. I mean, like, it, was, it had to be CIA psyop. And then that's it. And then um, a few months later, like maybe less than a year ago, Talking about, I'm going off on, on conspiracy theories in my class, in my jujitsu class, going off. I'm getting mad at people that don't believe this or that. I'm like, I'm like getting fucking crazy. And then some guy goes, I, Yeah, I agree with everything you said. Have you looked into Flat Earth? I said, Dude, please, please, Flat Earth. That's got to be the most retarded thing I've ever heard. You're like, No, no, no that's too crazy for me. It's got to be the most the dinosaurs retarded. aren't real, but yeah, Flat yeah, Earth. I'm like, Please, <laughs> you're distracting from the real issues here that we have to deal with, the real issues. And um, he said, okay, okay. And, and he, I told him, just please, zip it. <laughs> and then a couple months later, another one of my students said, hey, man, you ever look into flat earth? <laughs> and I said, I looked over him. And I, I, wanted, I was, like, angry. And all of a sudden, I just wanted to debunk him. I go, I go that is, that's, a, that's the dumbest thing ever. And he said, hey, listen, man, I got a master's in engineering. Look into it. You do the math. You do the science. And I'm like, dude, I'm no scientist. But I could prove that the world is round in one minute. So we're texting each other back and forth. I'm like, dude, come on, man. Well, what was, like, what was it about the theory? Of, what was it about so the theory home. that just got you? Where you're like, It's the Whoa. dumbest thing I've ever heard. The earth is flat. Yeah. And the sun is 3,000 miles away. But did you debunk him or did he no, I went you? home. No, I went home. No, I went home. And I go, I'm just going to find a picture. It's really simple. You don't... You know, all these people that are... are it's to, not really simple. Okay, it's not yeah. really simple. Yeah, no, it's simple. It's no, simple. it's not. That's I'm going to go... I'm gonna, I, there's got to be tens of thousands of pictures of Earth from space. I don't need any science. I don't need an engineering degree. I don't need how to put numbers together and all this stuff. Just show... I'm going to show you pictures, many pictures, and I'm going to text them to you, show you pictures of Earth from space. So you, you go to Google and you'll... Uh, pictures of Earth from space. And you look at them and... Obviously, like right away, I thought this is all car these are all CGI cartoon. There, there should be tens of thousands of real, actual pictures. So then I started looking into it, and then I thought, and these pictures are coming from the NASA website, NASA.gov. I'm like, NASA is in charge of space information. <laughs> Doesn't have and pictures. I, and I already thought, okay, NASA uh, faked multiple moon missions. Let's get you these believe, photos pulled moon up, moon? guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he does too. Um, you, see, you believe we didn't? Absolutely not. Oh, he my. thinks if you fly up over Earth, you're going to see ice walls surrounding a little petri dish that's growing us. It's a grow up. No, well, okay, well, here's well, okay, so here. Anyway, so this is what happened. <laughs> okay. So then I, I look into I, I dig more and more. And then again, there's Eric Dubé. Again, I looked at, look, just watch this video. There's a, a video called um, 
This best one is called The History of Flat Earth, and it takes you the timeline of how we decided the Earth was a ball and what, the, you know, why we did uh, a couple, few hundred years ago. It's Eric Dubé breaks it down better than anybody. You listen to him talk about flat Earth just for but so why don't we minutes. why don't we fall off the earth at some point well if, if our you ship you gotta goes understand there. the flat earth i don't listen or why listen, if you're on the really flat quick, really water quick. and the ship course, disappears from view because it's going down okay. i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna explain that right please now. but let me make it clear there's no proof that the world is flat it's just the people uh, like or eric, like eric dubay crushes the proof that the earth is round why aren't there any pictures of space i used to have i still well i probably threw them away now uh, unless they're in storage, but stacks and stacks of DVDs, space series, BBC, the universe, Morgan. I'll, I would just take my natural medicines and watch over and over and just, and every now and then, <laughs> over and every now and then, I'm watching these space documentaries. Me and Joe Rogan, just space documentary after space documentary, over and over the same ones we'd watch. And every now and then, I think to myself, uh, it's weird that we're not watching any actual footage of space. It's all CGI. Oh, but that, but that's okay. And then we just keep watching, and we keep. And then I, I think about that. It is kind of weird that. How the hell do they know what this looks? How the hell do they know that star and that galaxy are five hundred thousand light years apart? And then, and then I just watch, and then I'm trying to remember everything, trying to be really smart. So when people start talking about space, I go, did you know the sun is 93 million miles away <laughs> from the planet? Well, you know, and I'm, just even taking, though... I'm just taking this information. So now, as soon as I find out that these fake pictures of Earth from space, like, I don't know why there's, it should be any, they're coming from NASA. And then you look into it, and they admit it. They go, yes, uh, these are all C, like composites, CGI. So NASA's not even saying they're real pictures. Why? And then... Uh, aren't, don't we have Hubble? That, why don't you point it at the Earth and get some awesome shots of where we live? How come Hubble's not taking any Well, if you of, follow the astronauts live? on Twitter that are up there in space, they're constantly tweeting out photos. Uh, um, you interviewed from the ISS. This is, I mean, all, he thinks it's all, fake. That's all. That's all. The ISS, that's all okay, fake. so the ISS that's isn't fake. real. Uh, all, actually, it, are you all, able to pull up any of those scams. NASA here, Here's, here's, here's tax my scams. issue. It's all tax scams. They're just stealing money. Here, here's my oh, issue. Well, there is a there is a secret no, space so anyway, program. So with the flat Earth thing, really quick, let me just let me just end it now. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. Okay, you got to understand that the flat. Oh, oh, I got to answer a couple questions for you. First, like, why do ships uh, seem to go over the horizon? Right, right. right? Um, it's the law. The Earth it's, is round. It's the law of perception. Everything coming from your eyes converges into a, a vanishing point. Yeah, but could that be the no. law of perception because we're on a globe? No. no and if we were no. on a flat earth, the laws would be different? That's what, I've, uh, that's what I'm trying to do. No, 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 let me finish. Your let perception finish. doesn't matter no. if it's being recorded no. No. through no. a telescope. No. You could go on YouTube right now. You could pull up on YouTube. <laughs> and look, you, you could see it. You take a camera without the zoom on, and you videotape a ship going over there, and it looks like it's sinking. It's sinking. It looks like it's, it must be going over the horizon. All you do is turn on the zoom, and the ship's right there again. Well, eventually, though, it gets so far away. Well, eventually, when you can't zoom, when the zoom doesn't work anymore. Hmm. Explain that. that. I could prove that right now. Okay, here's so the... It looks you like can the explain ship, that with math, it, though. It looks like... The, <sighs> well, no, 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 but if you're saying the ship is... You're losing it because it's going over the curve, it doesn't matter what kind of zoom you have. You wouldn't be able to see it. That's science. So if you could zoom in and the whole ship appears again with the zoom, it didn't go over a curve. That's science. But you and wouldn't. I'm not even a scientist. But you wouldn't be able to do that all the way to South America or something. No, who, but who knows? It, and you, you only know you, you know, until the zoom runs out. If you have like infinite zoom. Okay, we have telescopes that can see into space. They're I'm going to need someone to point that telescope yeah. no, at a ship going this. over the they're horizon. All what I'm saying is again. If, and this is why people thought the Earth was round. That's like uh, old physicists from like 300 years ago that were going, the ships, look, the ship, it must be round. It but why? We must be on a ball. So look. So look, why look, didn't they ever fall look, off the, why yeah, didn't but they nobody ever fall that off the Earth people then? circumnavigated the planet. That's right. when they started to say, okay, wait, now we have to consider Why didn't you fall but, off but This is a flat Earth uh, model. You're, Which is flat, impossible. It's like we're in a, it's, it's like we're in a, Creature filled dish. with water. Here's the yeah. issue with this. But then why okay? don't you ever hit the edge? If, you, the you ice wall. South pole. You, that's South Pole. But Anywhere there is no South Pole. But the there is south no South Pole. pole is the edge. The outer there, edge. So there is, the is no south pole. south pole. So the, the middle is the North Pole. <laughs> the middle 
The middle is the North Pole, and the sun and the moon go around like that. The middle is the North Pole, so anywhere you go south, you hit the South Pole, and you, nobody. But can... that's not the South Pole. It's just Antarctica, which is a sheet of ice that surrounds us. An Here's wall. the issue with this. Okay, now that's it right there. Wait, wait. Okay, let just me just because just because that that's that how you go around boy. the world. You have, you ask about circumnavigation. You Except that there. doesn't work because you would have to have your wheel turning right the no, whole time. No, because you that's would science. just go doing, going straight lines. That's There's science. no math. There's no math. You'd have to have your wheel turn right the whole. Hey, I'm not saying I'm believing. Even. I'm Bro, not saying you would that's, have to have your wheel you turned right the whole time. You would have to have your wheel turned right the whole time if the Earth was flat to circumnavigate. That's the South Pole. <clears throat> but that's not the South Pole. The there North is no Pole South Pole. Pole. Here's the thing, man. I am. No, anyways, listen. Your boy, your boy Dubay. Your boy Eric Dubay. Dubay go go your, watch your, your Dubay. Dubay history your, of flat look, Earth. Look, that's Dubay your, is your, debunked. Your, your Dubay cover in your room is a nice guy. And, and you know what? Look. I, honestly, I don't know the guy's stuff. I'm sure it's great. I've looked into this I don't myself. Know it's real. And I'm honestly I know, I know NASA. Fa- but look, but NASA look. faked the moon landings, <laughs> every one of them, and that's where all our information is coming from. They all that shit should be under a microscope. There's some Not truth like, nah, to that. Nah, nah, it's real. Nah. Space but just be because your boy, just because your boy has done math to disprove what he thinks is the current belief of the globe or the measurements and everything. Okay, so so maybe we've got the measurements wrong. He could be wrong. wrong. He could be so wrong. maybe, the, like yeah. you said, maybe the Earth is bigger yeah. than we think. Yeah. Maybe it's smaller. Exactly. So just because he disproves something in the common understanding of the globe and the math doesn't mean that it's not round. Doesn't There's mean different ways flat. to calculate the same like equation. equation. Think about it like this. Know. Now, and I'm, I'm interested to see the flight patterns thing that you were telling me about. I'd be interested to see that. But still, even, even let's say that all these flight patterns show how they all avoid the North Pole, they all avoid the South Pole magically, they're all just going around the world, around the equator, instead of going north and south. Oh, so you looked into it a little bit. I've, I, dude, I told you I looked into all this stuff, man. I'm the, Eric Dubay, though, he breaks it down but listen, the best. But, but listen, also, though. it's also, there's but, an but, electromagnetic but listen, field going that from the North change. and South that would yeah. mess the with the was flight flat, patterns. Though, if the Earth was flat, all <laughs> of the navigation systems that are used, all of the geolocation and all of that would not work. It would fail because all of those measurements are based on a sphere. So all the measurements and all this stuff, they plug into the plane no, and all that stuff. Apparently it's all based on a flat plane. And it's not based So on then, okay. So, so then, it's so like then a flat dome pilot, that goes like this. every pilot ever is behind know. it too then. So you've got to get every pilot that's ever flown no, a plane. No, they don't have to be behind it. They just follow, they're just following like they're. Okay, well, the only time I could ever just, uh, and I, it was. I don't know. It was I when, know. have I mean, you guys. They're, they're looking just, at the wheel. Know. Have you guys. Right. I've, I've talked to pilots personally. Have I've you guys seen the show. Some of them don't think chemtrails exist. Okay. There's no it exists. Have you guys seen Westworld? Exactly. Have you seen Westworld? No. Okay, so this in Westworld where they go to the to the simulation, Westworld. the Westworld device, and they're looking at it, and they're looking, they're going, oh, well, we, sh- we need to change this over here, and so they're looking into this world. That is the only time I was ever saying, okay, I see where the flat earth people, because then, then we're living in a simulation, and we're basically, you know, it's like this don't. This Do you crazy, recall the scene yeah, I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, this is the crazy thing is, everybody will uh, entertain the possibilities of, man, what if we're, we're scientists... Are saying that we're in a we're simulation. In a computer simulation. Everybody's like ha- happy to look into that and the information. Like, fuck, that'll be cool. We're a computer <laughs> simulation. But when you bring up that maybe we br- we've been lied to about what we're on, no, that's fucking. You're wasting my time. You're wasting my time. And like, oh, what are you gonna go watch Game of Thrones now? <laughs> You're gonna watch some fiction and you're gonna it, op- have an open mind and look into it. Everything that we've, all the pictures and images from space are CGI. None of them are real. Isn't that a, a shitty detective would go, wait a minute. None of the pictures from space. Okay, but you got to explain that on another level. Positive. Okay, but Isn't now hold on though. Coming so from I, NASA. Hey, we do have I, I, some pretty look, amazing look, telescopes I'll, I'll, and photographic I'll, capability I'll to be able to, to, real to not there. have CGI Earth. Show, show me real I'll give you that. No, 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 no. He, he, he earns a Did point there. Did we find there. any NASA real pictures? This. NASA admits that their photos are pretty much all fake and everything. But at the same time, they do live feeds from the ISS that they never admit are fake. So there's semantics there. But, again, <laughs> man, you're, you're talking about... I mean, this is beyond just, okay, a government that's run based on blackmail and, and, and pedophiles and all that. You're talking about now you've Why got would they people lie that to raise us about families like pilots, people and engineers that are designing these telescopes. What about all these satellites they're claiming that are going up to space? Where are the waves going from your cell phone? Listen, when someone brought up flat earth theory to me, like I told you, I wouldn't even ask those questions. I was just like, dude, you're retarded. <laughs> so the fact that you're at, you're at, you got some legit questions that need answers... That's why you need to watch History of Flat okay, Earth so, by so Eric you, so, you, so you think that 
Everything, okay, so everything that comes, explain how about this? How I about can't this? explain it. But so all, you, I, all I know is I don't trust try NASA. To wait, so I don't wait, know if the here, earth is flat. I don't know if it's okay, round or flat. You don't know. I don't know what we're on, but I'm looking into it. Uh, so, so wait, why, outside, don't you, why don't you offer to be one of Tesla's first uh, people that he says he wants to fly civilians into space? Remember, why don't you, you I'll go? I'll go with you. From, who is why the don't guy, you go? I'll go with you. guy that owns Virgin America? Richard Branson. Yes. That Branson. guy, he was talking about it 20 years ago, that he's going to space flight. And then and now Elon Musk is talking about it. The, let me tell you this right now. I'm going to make a prediction. That is never going to happen. That is never going to happen. No one's going to. Elon Musk, dude from Virgin America couldn't take nobody. He owns. What happened to that? That just faded away. Yeah, you know Lady Gaga like, offered to yeah, be the well, first one. He mom. looked into it, tried to, where do I apply for this? And they said, you better sit your ass down because you ain't going into space. Nobody can go into space. Nobody's going into space. You, so all so the you images, don't think the astronauts have ever been in space? All of the images coming from space. You think are no not astronauts real. have? So what are we looking at then? What do I in my telescope? What am I looking at when I look at stars and like weird, I don't know cosmos weird and stuff? Weird. When you look, when you even look at planets, they're like look like a light. It's a light. Okay. Again, light. my brother-in-law works for NASA. He help, He works in like the jet fuel area. I don't know what it is, man. There's some it, there, whatever the sun is. The, I don't Flat Earth. That's, that's fake. fake. That's all <laughs> fake. This is live, isn't that's it? Fake. This is a live feed, isn't it? It's a live feed. Yeah, this is a legend. That's what they tell you. That's what they yeah. tell you. It's moving. That? See the. I don't believe shit coming from them. They're a bunch. Of, they fake moon landings. So, so what are those they satellites? Fake, so you're gonna believe that? What are the satellites up in the sky then? Are they fake no too? One's, all of them? Never. There's no pictures of any satellites in the sky. But you can see it with your eyes. Yeah, or you can see a satellite. You can see them with your own eyes. Okay, show me show me a, a video of a satellite in the sky. Have you ever been to like? Hey guys, pull that video have you video ever been to just, Portland or Monsters like Montana? That's fake. Like, all right, so that's what I'm saying. So it's just all no, fake. Then. No, you, no, no. Have you ever been? Okay, even Northern California, where there aren't a, there's not a lot of light noise. Somewhere like Portland, Montana, somewhere where there's you can actually see the stars. West Texas, yeah. you can see the satellites with your naked eye. They're not okay, UFOs. Okay. Satellites are supposed to be the size of a bus. You can see them. Okay, They're... okay. look, look. Satellites are supposed to be the size of a bus. A, 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 a 747 is the size of five buses. And when they're 30,000 feet in the air, you can barely see them as a speck. You think you're going to see a bus that's 100,000 feet, a, or a couple miles in the air? Yeah. A miles? You can see yeah. why. Wait a minute. You're going to see. What? There, there's, they have a, a lamp on So you them? think they're UFOs? Listen, 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 listen. Real quick. Let me repeat myself. Okay. A, <laughs> listen, listen, listen. a satellite is the size of a bus. Not all satellites have a universal so size. Then what do, no, but what that's do we the see? average size. It's okay. like, they're like a bus. Okay. The International Space Station. Yeah, okay, let's is just huge. say. Let's, let's say. Let's say that satellites are the size of a 747, okay? 747s fly at an average altitude of 30,000 feet. You can, you, they're like a speck at 30,000 feet. How high do you think satellites are supposed to be? So, and you're telling me you see them with the naked eye? That's yeah. not science. So then, what the is, <laughs> so then what? So you're telling me that the satellites have like this beaming light? Come, what are they No, a, they, yeah, you, they're not of, a beaming light. Satellites have a beaming light no, that you they can don't. see from the ground? They don't even oh. have a light. You can, yeah. you can see them. What, what's light? I'm Why just, do they I need all that So what are we seeing? So what are we seeing? I see it. What is it? Okay, again. A plane is at 30,000. No, 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 no. How about this? And a satellite is at a couple hundred thousand feet. Listen. And you're telling me you could see it because it has a beam of light coming out of it? That's how you can tell the difference between us. Why waste energy on having a beam of light? It doesn't have a beam of light. I don't. What's the, illuminating? You don't even need the light. No, you, you do need the light. light. Because you can listen, see it. That's how you tell the difference. That's how you tell the difference between the satellite. What is the meaning of the light on the satellite? My because brain hurts. They're going to have the difference between the satellite. My brain hurts. They're going to have, the have all that energy and they're going to have a beam then of light. Then what is it? Coming out of a satellite. Eddie Bravo, millions of people out there who have seen satellites with their naked eye want to know Maybe then. even built What is it? Sent him up. How can you see a bus? 200,000 feet in the air. All right. I don't know how. how, do you, how hold on, hold on. They're how not that this? far out of the Earth's atmosphere. You can't they're see they're a, a plane. We're not going anywhere. Feet. This is a dead end. Let me let me bring I this. I can't believe I can you've never seen a satellite. I have seen this. <laughs> Mr. I, have I actually, look at the sky I've all the time. I've seen this no, with I've my bare eyes. I've never, Eddie. I look at the sky. Every you have hold to on. go 
Listen to you this. You have to go where there isn't light noise. Listen to you this. Have to go, you have to go where there's the sky. Yeah, and they orbit too. That's the other no, thing. You can see yeah, they they're orbit. all lined up. They're in a perfect line. They go in a straight the line. That's how these what? cell phone how satellites is that a, work. How is that? Because it just moves like this, slow and steady and straight. And you can see how they're all lined up perfectly in a sphere that you okay. know, that's how they work. But, right. but 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 we're not going anywhere. So let me say this. So let me go to this though. I may be wrong. I but mean, but who knows? That could just be them in a circle around the flat Earth. I so challenge I you to look into the know. sky next time you're somewhere where there's no this? light. I'm noise. just curious if there's any explanation in the flat Earth theory for uh, you know space debris coming into our atmosphere. That is something I've seen asteroid fields with my bare eyes. I've seen asteroids enter our atmosphere. The rock you can see it break up and basically explode in the atmosphere. I've seen this with my bare eyes multiple times. What is that? Then? That's Zeus throwing a rock into hey, the listen, flat Earth. I'm not saying the Earth is flat. I'm just asking questions. And NASA is not to be trusted. So anything coming from them, I'm going to investigate. You and I, I it's, listen, it's smarter you, and I, you and I, you and I. Okay, wait, 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 wait We're going to no. circumnavigate the world starting from the South Pole, and we're going to go all the way around the North Pole, I, and we're going to end up back on the you, South Pole. I think Pole, you brother. need to make a, you know, a let's go together. You can't go, you know, you. And then we're going to blast off. We are going to circumnavigate the earth and debunk this or prove it once and for all. I think that's an excellent idea. But you know here's what? the thing. You know what you could do? This is what you could do. This is how you prove the world is, is round. Get on a plane, find some billionaire guy, and fly over the Antarctica. Fly over it and go around, go around and fly over it. When you can do that, then I'll believe it. Okay. And if somebody's, but I need which is, it's been done. But there are people out there right now who have no one, the capability to, to take us. So then, so then, all the satellite images are fake. Of what? Of Antarctica. Antarctica. Is it CGI? No, I'm asking. Well, I'm, I'm asking you. Is, is it, it CGI? Fake? If it's CGI, <laughs> is CGI real or not real? CGI is fake. So okay, you're saying so that they're the all question? fake. What's the question? So Antarctica All the isn't... images of Antarctica and the theories now that the center of it is melting, they actually think there's like a spaceship under it now. They're not even Where'd sure if it's that a piece from? of land. Government scientists? Huh? Government scientists? Whoa, 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 I thought we were questioning everything here, Eddie. I don't know. All I'm saying is that information. I was showing you. Remember the other day? I was showing you. I was yes. looking at Antarctica. I found what looked like a spaceship buried in the ice. That's fake pictures of Antarctica. Oh, so that could be, be anything. Fake. Like what? No, but Antarctica. I mean, it could be anything. Yeah, you said it me. You could. You could yeah, anything you go, could be anything. Just because you go on the outer edges of Antarctica. I okay. Mean, no, I understand. That that I understand. Over, that doesn't disprove. It. That doesn't disprove your flat Earth theory. And but if there was an ice wall, wouldn't we see it? I think even if we had eight, eight more hours, bring we would up not... ice Antarctica ice wall. Oh, <laughs> bring that up, please, and we non CGI. Will... We want the like, non CGI. Just like Game of Thrones, you're gonna love it. Make sure it's ice non -CGI. okay in Game of Thrones, but in real life, it's not okay. I don't <laughs> watch Game of Thrones. You could pull up. You could pull up ice wall. Uh, I feel like we could talk about this for eight more hours and still be going round and around the flat earth. Just like the sun goes round and round. So somehow gonna, you don't see it from the other side of the We're going to go ahead and wrap this up. And I just want to put out, you know, one last call to that's, that's anyone fine. who wants to take us on a trip to circumnavigate the earth and debunk and find this ice fly ball. Fly over Antarctica. Or if someone would You'll like to take us me. on a flight I'll go with you. to fly and over you go Antarctica. with me on a rocket ship. Straight up. No, no, no. On a plane. Look, there's the ice wall. Look. That's a glacier. <laughs> the ice wall. That doesn't, oh my God. So, okay. Shows, uh, get so another you picture, could another easily picture. just walk right another over picture. it then. <laughs> so you're telling me on the other side of that looks like maybe, what, 60 stories of ice that you, I'm going to see another Petri dish of a human growth organization going God, on. God, that'd be amazing, look wouldn't it? it? There it is, flat earth. Come Eddie on, Bravo's, Eddie. Eddie Bravo's no, no, right. Now look, honestly. What like, is that? What is that? <laughs> what do you mean, what, what is that? It? It's a bunch of How ice that's floating on the ocean. When I say pictures are fake. It's I not fake. Find another one. A, one a, a long shot, though. That's just one. Can you find one? There's a long yes, angle. Yes, find, the, find the one of that being a couple 10 miles. million feet long, please. That's yes. the angle yes. that we need. Totally. I would say that whoever does take us on a flight or a ship to circumnavigate, this is what you're going to have to be listening to for the entirety <laughs> of it. But please, like, look at that ice wall. Look at that ice wall. That's not an ice wall. Let's that's make a, this that's happen. Glacier. This would be the biggest video there ever. Is, look. What is that? Well, you can see the edge of it, bro. What are you talking about? You can see the edge of that. Oh, edge yeah. of what? The edge of the, the, the glacier, water the frozen goes, piece of ice. Maybe it's going that way. Oh, my gosh. It is going that way. It I looks like it's a right angle. Is, you said, where's the ice wall? 
We show you three pictures of the ice wall. That is not an <laughs> ice wall. That's like I'm showing you that Tower 7. That is an seven. ice plateau. I'm showing you videos, different angles of Tower 7 collapsing, and you're going, there's fires. That's fires. Nis said it. Office fires. Nis said it's fires. I believe it's fires. Nis so, said okay, it's fires. So then, okay, so, so, so then are those, those photos of the ice wall are real then? They're CGI. Are they real or not? What do you they're think? They're CGI. If they're real, then why didn't they just pop their head over that and look on the other side? Why haven't you taken a trip to Antarctica no, or Alaska no, no, no. or anywhere yet? So now you're talking about an infinite plane. Yeah. So now it they're... It could be okay. anything. I don't know. Okay. Right. okay. okay. This it's is like, science. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I want to see the Petri dish that is growing the other human growth. I want to see more fake pictures of space. I, I could draw you one. I just I don't even show. know. I guess... We should end it there. We didn't really come to any conclusions, but I think we can conclude that it is very important for everyone out there to ask questions and be able to debate their friends about things that, frankly, you none of us... believe whatever you want. I'm just, yeah, I'm just even... really curious. Just don't believe the government, right? Can we agree on that most of the time? <laughs> exactly. Probably don't believe the government. That's all I'm saying. Yes. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we will... Any we will... information <laughs> coming from the government, you got to... Uh, be suspicious of it, and you got to break it down and reinvestigate, reopen the files. That's a smart thing to do when yes. you're dealing with criminals. Saying, oh, no, they wouldn't do that. Criminals? A criminal? No detective would go, ah, he wouldn't do that. You should absolutely. Nah, he wouldn't do Why would he do that? Nah, he wouldn't do that. A, the worst detective in the world wouldn't even think like that. Right, which is why, you know, we should, definitely tolerate, we should yeah. definitely tolerate conspiracy theories. Yeah. And on that note, I think we can all agree to disagree. So we'll. S <laughs> thanks for watching. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I have a feeling if when I come back, you guys are going to be flat earthers. I bet. We'll when see. are you coming back? He's going to wait until he sees me tweet on Twitter. Okay, maybe the earth is flat. But the, uh, the one thing is... <laughs> no, we're going on the ship. Way open we're mind. going on an expedition. Way more open -minded. It is my dream. I would shut people up. It is my dream to be Magellan and You're circumnavigate the earth. My mission over here. Well, but here's the thing with me is I've been there. Way better than I've me. been there before. You can teach so me jujitsu on the and ship. Every, and every... You know, you know why you know why flat earth is so big? Because every everyone has the same story. No one ever goes, yeah, the earth is flat. Oh, cool. I believe that. Everyone says, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Everybody, when, anytime <laughs> you want, you, 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 there's a new uh, conspiracy theory host. They have the same story that I just told. The same, everyone has the same story. When I first heard about Flat Earth, I thought it was the dumbest shit Ever. I thought it was a CIA psyop. It must be some kind of distraction. You, it Every, is clearly it is a psyop. Exact same story. Everybody, no one just believes it right away. I was way worse than you guys. Well, it gets people fighting about stuff that no one can really prove, rather than focusing in on what's actually going on on our planet it's, it's with the actual chemtrails and the frequency exactly, control. Exactly. So there Hope you go. On.